Hi, Cheryl Locke here for HotBlogTips.com, and in this Paint.net tutorial, we're going to show you how to blur out part of your image. You may want to have the most of the image, but there might be some things you want to hide for privacy. Here we have a picture of Brad. He was out selling Avon one night, and there's other people in the picture, obviously, and they really don't want to be identified with him. So what we're going to do is blur out the faces. Maybe you don't have permission to have them in the picture. Maybe you don't even know who they are. You just want them there, but you don't want them identifiable. What we're going to do is come over to our tools box. You can use the rectangle select, which is rectangle or square, or the ellipse, which you'll get a circle or an oval. So for a face, I'm going to choose the ellipse. I'm simply going to place my cursor and my little X hold it down, outline what I want to blur, go up to effects, blurs, and here you're going to have a whole bunch of choices you can choose from. You'll just have to see which one you like best. Here's our average blur, and I can set how much I want it blurred. Do I really want to distort it, or do I want it to be somewhat understandable but not, not be identifiable? Once you've decided, you can click OK. Now, this face, you can tell there's a person there, but we're not going to know who they are. There's other ways you can use blur and be able to put snapshots on your, your blogs. Here I have some stats that I used in a Hangouts on Air. This is from a YouTube channel that I manage. I wanted to show people where the stats were, what they were going to look like, but I didn't want to show them the names of the videos that were attached here. I thought that was kind of invading the privacy of the channel owner. So all I did was simply get my rectangle tool. I came over to each one. I outlined it, went to my effects, went to blurs, and set my blur. Clicked OK. Boom. There we go. You can see most of the page, but some things are kind of hidden. Another reason you might want to use this. Here's another one I used. And my contacts for the Hangouts had their actual phone numbers listed. I could see them, but I didn't want to share them with the world when I explained how this worked. So what I did was I blurred out their phone numbers. Maybe a Facebook conversation. We see these all over the web, and they've blurred out part of it. Here's one I'm having on Facebook, and while it's not really important, it was a good one to share with you all, and nobody should get too offended. What I would do is come up, get my rectangle select, go to the image, outline it by holding my cursor down, go up to effects, go to blurs, pick it out, now you can't tell whose image it is. Click OK. I can do the exact same thing with the name so that nobody is associated with it. Blurs. Here we go. Now no one knows who this is, but they can read the rest of the conversation. You can do this over and over with anything you have that you want to show most of it, but keep most of it or part of it private. And like I said, there's a lot of blurs here you can choose to deal with and see what they do. I'm not going to go through each and every one. But once you've taken your image and you've blurred out the privacy issues, then you just go up to File, Save As. You're going to name your image, select your file type, and click Save. OK, and now I can use this on my blog, on a social site, what have you, and I've taken care of all the privacy issues. And just in case you thought you were going to get by without it, there's Brad again. If you ever want to sell makeup, I suggest you don't go out looking like this. Otherwise, we're going to start blurring. So thanks for watching our Hot Blog Tips Paint.net tutorial, and we hope this helps. We look forward to seeing all of your images and all the things you want to screen capture and need a little bit of privacy. Please subscribe to hotblogtips.com
and hot blog tips here on YouTube. Thanks.